The Langtang Valley is nestled into the heart of the Himalaya, inside the Kingdom of Nepal. It is the third most popular trekking destination in the closest to Kathmandu, accessed by road along the Trizali Highway. The outward trek is usually three days, beginning in lush forest where you'll encounter families of langur monkeys frolicking in the trees above. You'll pass through a village every hour or so, each offering lodging, food and electricity. Each lodge offers mattresses and bedding, reducing your backpack weight. Very civilised, riverside setting at the Riverside Lodge. On the second day, you'll emerge into a broad, U-shaped valley with little vegetation surrounded by spectacular snow-capped peaks. Kayajin Gompa is the highest village in the valley and a perfect base for several rewarding day trips in the area. Kayajin Ri is the most popular objective in the Langtang Valley. It may be modest in height, but offers commanding views from the summit and even from a lookout halfway up. It stands directly behind the village. There are two trails near the technical. One is direct, going straight up and is a steep walk. The other is more gradual, following the gully to the side. Many trekkers visit the lookout to observe sunrise. The trail is signposted in the village and easy to follow. It seems for many, the lookout is the culmination of their whole Langtang trek, but it's certainly recommended to continue to the summit and spend a few more days. The views from the lookout are wonderful, and you'll rightly rest here a while, admiring the mountains all around, while also trying to make sense of the labyrinth puzzle of the Kaijin Gompa street plan. The altitude will make the exertion far more effort than you would expect. Your body will likely not be acclimatised to the lower levels of oxygen, so take it slow and steady and make photography your excuse to rest often. For those with higher ambitions, the lookout is just above halfway and it's about another hour to the summit. The trail is dusty and slippery, but it's well worth following up the narrowing ridge you'll gain a sensation of floating as the valley floor disappears beneath your feet with every step. I just got startled there by a group of Tibetan snowcocks. Very pretty. They blend in very well with the environment. Make sure you bring some protection, water, snacks and warm clothing to account for whatever weather you encounter. There are three bakeries in the village that bake cakes and bread daily. Mornings are the best time to trek. During the afternoon, cloud and mist can develop, which obscures the views. The summit is adorned with layers of prayer flags, offering vivid colour and stark contrast to the bleak yet majestic surroundings. Wonderful views abound in all directions, 360 degrees. Pongan Dopku dominates the southern aspect. To the northwest is Langtang Larung, over 7,000 metres, in the Ubra Icefall. Then to the southeast is the slender and aesthetic Gangchenpo with all its flutings. There's also the chance to survey some further day trip objectives within reach of your comfortable base at Kayajin Gompa. Certainly Tsergo Ri, also pronounced Chergori, should be the next day's objective. Just looking down on the more gradual gully ascent up Kayajin Ri. I'm going to follow that one down. The Langtang Valley is an excellent trekking destination and Kaijin Ri one of the highlights. <laughs>